And then we move on to the next questions, which, were, which are focusing on the results. So questions seven and eight ask about the study results. So question seven is about the treatment effect. So this is trying to um, establish what outcomes were measured, whether the primary outcome is clearly specified. So often we have in trials primary outcomes and secondary outcomes. And also to think about what were the results for each outcome. So is it clear when you read the paper what the outcomes they were measuring were and have they provided the results for each of those outcomes. And so it's important to also establish when you're thinking about this question is that um, in thinking about question seven and also thinking about question eight, the, the number of participants and the size of the treatment effect, it's important to look at how the sample size of the study was established. So did they have enough participants in the study to be able to um, investigate the outcomes that they were looking for and has the study got sufficient power that means were there enough um, participants in the study to be able to detect a difference between the control group and the intervention group. So look here in the paper to see why the researchers chose the sample size they did and look for mentions of power calculation or the sample size calculation because if that if the um, authors chose the sample size based on a power calculation or a sample size calculation which included the um, specified that it was specific to the primary outcome of the trial then you will know that the study had enough participants um, in it to establish that any differences between the control group and the intervention group were due to a real difference and they weren't just due to a chance finding. So question seven and question eight, um, it's important to also think about when you're addressing these, what the sample size was based on because then we will be able to establish the size of the treatment effect and the precision. So when you're looking for the answer to question eight, how precise was the estimate of the treatment effect? Look in the results section, look to see whether the, um, the authors present p-values, not necessarily just p is less than 0 0.05, but whether they give exact p-values and whether they give confidence intervals as well. So in answering question eight, you're looking at how the, um, the, the results are presented and how precisely the results are presented.